It's a story so many women can relate to, the story of the overwhelmed. That word has just been a part of my life for, for so long. I have been raising my daughter alone since she's been two. And I think that word overwhelm started the first day I had her alone, just realizing it was just her and I. For Susan Loalbo, a single working mom for the past 15 years, managing time has been like running a marathon every day, like this typical day, starting before the crack of dawn. Having to get up and get myself ready, and then get my daughter up and get her ready, and put her in the car in really cold weather. It would just hurt my heart so much. This was when I was living in Pittsburgh. And um, take her to the sitter as a mother is just, it's, it's just to drive away is one of the hardest things. And I, then I had a long drive. Parked my car almost a mile from the office because I couldn't afford to park in the city. Walked a mile to my office. I get emotional even talking about it. But at the end of the day, I literally was running to my car. She had gotten on a bus, taken a bus to a special place where they, the daycare center to take care of her and to pick her up, to be there on time. But that day I had to take her to the doctor's office because she needed a checkup. Try to give her some dinner, spend some quality time with her. And do I have time to, to clean the house up? I'm exhausted. I don't even want to put a load of laundry in the, in, into the machine and my daughter is ready to fall asleep knowing that tomorrow morning I'm gonna to have to wake her up and do this again. And again and again. Managing time, where do you begin? That was last week. Susan says her change came in realizing that help was there for her. One of the hardest things for me to overcome is to ask for help. I can do it myself, super mom, that's me. Um, and I still, have a hard time asking for help. But what has happened is people step right in now. That happened when she began working at a supportive church seven years ago. Come here, Adam. And she realized someone else was with her. It was within the first year that I was here that I was able to just overwhelmingly accept Christ into my life as my savior. And that was like this release off my shoulders. The weight was lifted and my daughter, and this is when I get emotional, has had the benefit of that. As you can see, Susan's daughter, Taylor Mary, is 17 now, a youth leader, beautiful and grateful. I love my mom so much. She's so wonderful. She's always been there taking me places, driving me everywhere. Um, she sacrificed a lot to be able to let me have a normal or semi-normal life as a teenager, so I appreciate that a lot. Susan is now working on some other time strategies, like her personal meeting with God, and finishing one task before starting another. Because as I would juggle, everything would fall. This strategy comes at a good time, because Susan has just learned that she and her daughter will have to find a new place to live after seven years, packing up a place they love, and looking for another home to start again. Overwhelmed? Maybe. Differently. And here's where I look back and think, I didn't even know it, but God was walking with me every moment, taking care of both of us. He never left. Mm -mm. And now, it's still overwhelming, right? She's a teenager and she's driving her own car, but it does come to the point where you can look at, at your child or children and they look at you and they know, they know the love is there. And it gets better. Keep it up, hang in there, God is with you.